So let me start by saying uh, congrats on the show. I just watched the first episode uh, and I think it does. What, I'm, I'm really happy that they're aiming Star Trek at kids. I think it's about time um, yeah. for, for both of you. Uh, can you sort of talk about getting to be part of a, a show like this that is introducing this to a whole new generation? Yeah, I was saying earlier, it feels quite extraordinary that this hasn't happened yet. It, when they told me this is the first time, I was like, really? I would have thought, well, it's great to be a part of it. It feels like a really like iconic moment in Star Trek history. I have younger brothers and I feel really proud that this is the kind of content that they get to see and they get to be consuming now. Um, I think the messages of Star Trek are timeless, can be applied to any age, any generation. And on top of the fact that like, it's a beautiful, whimsical, fun, you know, ex extent of your imagination or um, can't even think of the word, but you know, it's fun. You get to be a kid. You're like completely immersed in this world. Totally. And I completely agree. I remember growing up and watching all of my favorite animated series, uh, specifically Nickelodeon. Like I loved Avatar, The Last Airbender. And I just wanted that all the time to be like the thing I was watching and sort of looking up to, I would like, like in my sink try to like make the water move and so um <laughs> it's awesome to be able to know that we're giving this to kids in this gorgeous cinematic animation and that this is what they will get to grow up sort of watching and learning the themes of and and implying the lessons that they're learning from this to their everyday lives at school and in their social situations as they grow up. Um, so it's awesome to be a part of bringing that to, to a younger audience feels almost like, you know, getting to sort of plant a seed in someone's mind of, of the next thing, the next generation. Ooh, I like the way you tied that into next generation, Star Trek. You know, that, that was that very was good. almost on purpose. Right, exactly. Um, also, it doesn't hurt that at some point you could be action figures as your characters. Oh, absolutely. You know, that's not I want to be as big as the one behind you. I yeah, want to be Iron you know, Man be one. that big. <laughs> right. I just hope I get one. Uh, I'm, dude, I, listen, I think that even though, I'm just going to say this, and even though they're not going to say it, but I do think this is also a way for uh, for Paramount and Viacom to sell toys to kids. You got to make the show to, you know... Sell the merchandise. Toys, the backpacks, all of yes, it. Yes, all of it. We want but, all the merch. By, by the way, like that, anyway, that's a whole separate thing. Um, but were you guys actually Star Trek fans before signing on? I know it's a little generic, or did you sort of like, um, like binge everything or binge a whole bunch once you got the role? I knew nothing. <laughs> I watched nothing. That, hey, it, worked, it, 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 it worked fine. It did, right? We're here now, and that's what matters. <laughs> did you actually see anything? Oh. Of Star Trek? Oh, oh, sorry, me. Oh. Hi. <laughs> I'm losing my I'm losing it's my been a mind. Long day. Sorry, I sir. I am losing no, no, it. You should see my setup. My setup's very strange. Um, no, I also didn't see anything. And in a way, it kind of worked because I didn't get too attached to ways of doing things. I, I kind of managed to bring my own uh spin on things and you know, modernize it and make it something that kids now will love and find funny and all of that stuff. Um, so yeah, we're, I'm just a very committed actor who is very method and I'm just deeply attached to my craft. Absolutely. Same. Um, and I'm glad I, now knowing jumping in that I'm glad I didn't look it up because I would have been really, really intimidated. <laughs> Did you, as you've recorded further in the process of making the series, um, have you sort of felt more ownership of your characters and maybe like as they give you a line, you almost say, you know, I think he or she would say it like this. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's definitely something that's developed over time, the collaborative process. I think first couple of sessions, I was super intimidated and, and was learning the character. You know, they had been working with her for so long that it, it was only right for me to be the one asking questions. And then as we've developed her together as a team now it feels like I can be like oh this could be a really hey do you guys want to incorporate this element this could be a really fun way to make her see more of this or to drop these little seeds in and you know improvising slightly I'm not a great improviser but sometimes um yeah things like that it's been fun to collaborate 
a hundred percent the same experience for me. I was very much like very curious about him at the beginning, asking lots of questions, even sometimes going back and they were having us, uh, well, at least me specifically, like redo certain lines and things because it's like, okay, he's leaning a bit this way. What about if we try it like this or, you know, give different options for how to make this the most like, uh, easy to understand and and true to what they were thinking for the character so over time you do definitely gain ownership and they're so like the creative team is just so incredible and they're so totally open to moments of improvisation and uh pre-lap mm -hmm. lines and just life in the middle of your scenes and things like that they're they're really receptive to those things and um they they throw the ball in my court a lot i we have this running joke that i'm associate writing assistant, um, production assistant for Dal, because there's been so many things that you, they've allowed me to improvise. That's awesome. Um, yeah, I got to yeah. stop there. I'm just going to say, I really hope you're almost done with interviews and, you know, uh, <laughs> One more. Good, yeah, good luck with, I was going to say good luck with the speed dating. Um, have yes. a fantastic <laughs> afternoon. Thank you so much. Thank Later. you.